Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect Escapes. Today's beverage is a quite delightful cloudy Sicilian lemon soft drink, very acidic indeed. So welcome back to Prison Architect Escapes. This is a series where we attempt to break out of various facilities that I have not made personally. These are either viewer made or at least viewer suggested. This is the train and I've had many, many suggestions to take a look at this one and it's a prison, but it's also a train, but it's a prison. And also a train. You'll get what I mean when we load in. This is Prisoner Wyatt, Prisoner number 37758812. Sentence for, I have no idea, because, well, we don't plan on staying here very long. The idea is we have to survey the area and see how we can get out. Now, this is a staff-only area. I'm seeing no automatic door openers, but also a bit of a potential weakness in the fact that there's only been staff doors being used and a gate there. So there's no heavy doors like we're seeing on the bottom left here with some automatic door openers. I I am seeing, however, lots of security staff. We've got some snipers, we've got some guard dogs, we've got some armed guards there. This is visitation, and this is, like I say, uh, it's a prison, but it's a train. It's got like a rail car type of um, look to it. Wouldn't surprise me if someone's seen Snowpiercer and thought, I want to make that in Prison Architect. Anyway, they've got a visitation at the back here, which is where it stops being staff only. Um, I'm noticing on the top right we have um, normal high slash supermax and then, is that criminally insane? So we've got lots of different categories of prisoner. We have an infirmary that's not staff only, that's also has a door propped open by two bits of bacon on a tray. We've got the power solution systems here. So we've got one, two, three power plants with... With, that's the uh, super capacitor so this is actually a relatively new build in fact it's probably a very new build that's oh look at that <laughs> it looks like there's a way out there but no that is not a door that is the uh, the barred wall so you can't get through that what well, you can if you can set it on fire but I don't think that's going to happen so I'm noticing obviously different categories of prisoner I'm seeing is that a mail room that's an interesting mail room size it looks uh, pretty good and obviously there's a lot of detail in this facility we're seeing the top cells here which are a three by two standard affair down the bottom you've got a three by three which is a little bit different we've got bird cages in here we've got tvs we've got uh, bookcases we are being escorted through a common room with yeah one of my personal favorites these these tiles i do quite like these ceramic tiles and then you've got the sort of green carpet there so this is all well, i'm seeing low risk prisoners i'm seeing normal risk prisoners so this is going to be a full i believe it's a full category of prisoner set working from one end of the prison slash train to the other and the further you get towards the locomotive end the more the category will probably go up there's a um, high risk inmate there let's just max speed this out while we come through i'm not going to skip it because we are trying to gather information here there is a laundry and interestingly the laundry is not accessible by us but there is still prisoners working there which is low category of prisoner so i'm guessing that that's set to low risk prisoners and there might even be cleared for transfer stuff on so you move up and down the train based on how you act that's actually really really cool <laughs> We've got some um, cells here, which are three by three. They've got uh, some seating in there, TVs, little stools, which I don't often see. We've also got the uh, shower heads and whatnot. And we're now moving into what appears to be... Hmm, this is the normal slash medium category of... Uh, cell and there we go we're going to be escorted into this one or is it the next one it's going to be in this one here okay so we've been positioned in here let's have a quick look around now i'm seeing oh immediately uh, quite an easy way to escape this is this is a gymnasium and although looking at it you might think that a gym is for storing empty trays it's actually good for ropes so again digging is possible i know i've done a lot of digging and a lot of swimming in the past escapes but that fire by burning the walls and running out and a blitz out attempt are basically the only four main ways to escape. Obviously there's variations in all of them, but those are the main ways to escape. Uh, we do have a kitchen here, which is only a three by four size, but there is a metal detector in here. Now you can circumnavigate the detection system if it's uh, about here, because you can sort of scoot around like that, but not when it's not when it's positioned like that, as far as I'm aware. I've not had any great success with it. So we've got some big TVs, we've got some couches, we've got some uh, computers there, and we're now moving up to... Oh, look at that. We've got a bit of a checkpoint, and this is where the carriage changes to. Uh, yeah, this is all... 
This is all uh, high. Okay, so we've even got a guard station there. And apparently spiritual guiding has been taught in there too. So these are a bit more basic in terms of their layout. So yeah, you get more amenities the further back towards the train. You'd think it'd be the other way around if we were going for that sort of snow piercing look thing, like the tail end of the train. But anyway, um, that's fine. So I'm just going to go to the other end just to see if there's anything I've missed. I don't know at this point what the best method of escape is. Gymnasium, as I said, we've got ropes in there, which is good. We do have a canteen here, but there's nothing much we can really get from there. I, I really like the detail in this, where we've got the doors are different colours. We've got like um, the drinks machines off to one side. It's just a, got a, a nice. Um, it's just an interesting look about it. You've even got sprinklers in the in the centre here, and this is all low risk category. Uh, there are. Water bars on the window, which we could probably break those, set them alight, things like that. I like the way that the this is outside as well, the, where the carriage is. So this is sort of set to outside. I mean, naturally, you're not going to be able to go through fence, barred wall, wall. It's just not going to happen. I'm not seeing at this stage as well any other way to get out. There's a church, but that is set to well, not accessible by us. It's interesting. The main corridor is accessible. There's a laundry. But again, not accessible by us. Okay. Hmm. Right. Kitchen and a yard. Similar thing. Hmm. My, my first thought after seeing all of this is, what does the higher risk have access to? Because at the moment, looking at all of this as we are, we can dig out with ropes. It'll just take time. And we can maybe run out the front door. The front door being... Uh, actually, there's an infirmary here. We could get access to some tools. Scissors there. Mm, not great. No metal detector here. But this is where we get to. And we'd have to run. I mean, you can get a lighter here. We can set fire to things. Looks like you can't go through the, the rail yard. Looks like that's not going to happen. But we could run this way. Because really, it's only this bit of the visitor area that's set that's not set to staff only. Sorry, this bit of the visitation is set to staff only. The bit outside isn't here. We can happily round the, walk around this part, and the prisoners won't stop us. So if we get out, can somehow um, end the fight rather than surrender. We can then basically wander around with impunity. But I still think it's still going to help because the front door is such that, yeah, it's going to be interesting. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up this lighter and I'm going to do some exploratory overheating. And we will set fire to things, mainly to gather some points. We do need to get uh, reputations. Naturally, Swimmer will not be one of them unless the uh, rain doesn't stop for quite a while. And then we'll figure out where to get out. I know we've been escaping via like a single person, so we were only escaping with like our one character. I'm tempted to try and change that, but let's see. I mean, this is a train after all, so a train escape is probably probably a good idea. Hmm, okay. Well, I wanna start ga making some points, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set fire to things in here, and I'm just gonna run around, and obviously the, uh, the guards are gonna be um, interested in what I'm up to here. But there's that now set, and oh, ah, so, um, setting fire to this stuff is pretty good. Uh, we are getting a bit injured, which is a bit of a shame, but um, I can go around here, and I'm noticing that, ah, there we go. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to skip punishment, because apparently we only, we only got one point off all of that. That is disappointing. Okay, I'm going to have some more points then by uh, just breaking the... Yeah, breaking these off the wall. No, is that not going to break? It really isn't. Um, apparently we can't punch at all. Okay, skip punishments once again. I'm just trying to gather some points because there's no there's no uh, shower around here. So we just have to be uh, a bit cautious on how we generate these points. There's loads of tasers that I think most of them missed there. Let's just continue on breaking that. Um, I don't want to you know, do any serious injury or anything. I'm just trying to farm some points and I'm doing that by breaking the... Breaking the, uh, well, at this point it's the toilet, but I don't want to break the toilet. I'm trying to break off the shower head, because uh, that's like one of the weakest things in the game. And we're going to skip punishments. Right, for that, we're going to go with, oh, uh, strong. And I'm going to keep breaking stuff, potentially. 
Um, yes, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into this very, very cramped and dimly lit room, you may notice. Interesting. And I'm, I'll, I'll break that. And that's curious. I managed to break... <laughs> I, used, I, I used the knife to, um, to break... Let's see if I can knock this uh, guard out. Right, they're unconscious. Uh, yeah, I used the knife to break the metal detector, so actually, it triggered, um... Well, it didn't trigger the, uh... Oh, there's the taser. It didn't trigger the metal detector, but we were still obviously... Ah, oh, right, things have changed. <laughs> yeah, so... It didn't trigger the metal detector, but it did, um, you know, cause a fight. And now, because we've caused some serious injury, we now know that, well, if you cause serious injury, you end up in the higher risk part of the facility. So, we have been positioned in this area where we have dormitories on the, well, all four corners, left, right, up and down, north, south, east, west, if you prefer. I'm seeing more inmates in here, more cells, but these are more segregated. There's like walls within walls. And automatic door openers and patrols. Okay. Fine. Hmm... So we got the dormitories. I'm now going to guesstimate that if we go back over, we don't have access to the visitation anymore, which means we can't get, at least uh, not from there anyway, we can't get the the lighter. Okay. There is a mail room here. and Oh, apparently we've just triggered the metal detector. It's a, it's a false flag. We know we've got nothing on our person, so I'll just stand here and, you know... Put my hands up and... Oh, no, apparently Stanley's fighting. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, that's happening. Uh, when in Rome, right? Let's go. Um, I mean, let's just join in with the, uh, the festivities. And let's just see if I can break. Can I break bags? Yes, I can. Do I get any points off it? Absolutely not. Um, looks like that guy's got a key card. I'm going to come in here and say, break that off the wall. And then break that off the wall. I'm just going to see if I can snap the... No. Okay, um, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's just pick up uh, some extra traits here. So we're going to go with extremely everything. Um, yeah, so uh, at the moment then, I'm not entirely sure the best course of action. And, yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not playing on um, sort of cuddly mode in this prison, I don't think. There we go. All right. Let's go with all of these. And we're just going to get our character, Wyatt, to the top rated. And then we'll think about others as well. So this guard's coming in. And Taser actually worked, so we're going to skip the punishments. We're going to go with uh, extra quick. We're going to run up to this armed guard, and we're going to punch them. And, oh, uh, take our friend out, which is what well, wasn't my original intent, but... Um, there you are. Looks like the arm guard, free fire is not on, you notice. This, this guard has not drawn their weapon, but they will do shortly. Oh yeah, there we go, and um, I have no problem in putting my hand up when the shotgun is drawn. <laughs> I'd rather not uh, be dealing with any of that. Let me just go with skilled fighter. And this guy is a bit injured, so I'm just going to just follow them a little bit. Just, I'm sorry about that. I, I don't know what happened there. I, I, I just... <laughs> Just, you know, I lost control for some reason. Get some! Right, there we go. <laughs> and, um, yes, we now have we now have a shotgun. Um, so, a lot easier to deal with this. And, oh, apparently we didn't have that shotgun for long. But we did have a set of keys. So, again, just trying to... Just, just farm points. Just just farm all the points. So we are totally maxed out. Guard's going to come in. Their taser's been used. Other guys come in. They've been taken out. Wow, okay. With one hit. Um, I've got the baton now as well. And I'm just going to draw line of sight around here. Just break that line of sight. Um, just smash this up. There's an armed guard. Oh, shotgun. And then the taser works. Okay, so with all of those festivities now completed, we are going to sleep. And now we're going to go back. So, we know that we have all of the traits that we can escape with. We've got a mail room. It's about as far as I came last time before it kicked off. And I'm seeing, oh, interesting. I'm seeing a gymnasium. A gymnasium means we can get ropes. So we've got a club, drugs, and ropes. So we can dig with the rope. Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> we also have, interesting, a kitchen. 
and a laundry. Oh, well, actually, so far then, high risk, it's actually easier to it's easier to escape via tunneling than it is with uh, with being in low or medium, as far as I can tell. No, actually, no, low, you have access to the laundry, I believe, so that's two ropes, gymnasium and the laundry. Whereas the medium risk, the normal risk category, you have access to one rope, whereas high risk, it's two. And there's... I don't know what speed that guy's got that on, but it's pretty good. Um, let's just get this. And, no, I'm trying to pick up the rope, and it's just not happening. There we go. So we have ropes. What can we do with ropes? Well, I'm, I am i don't know if I'm going to escape via tunneling. Probably is the answer. But I want to escape with more than one person this time. But I also want to figure out how far I can dig before we get detected. Because we've been positioned here. And I don't know what's down here. Getting just to this point is probably not great. Well, let's see. So I'm just going to max speed this out. So we're digging with the tunnel. Uh, digging with the tunnel. We're making a tunnel. Oh, let's uh, going to have to go around here, aren't we? Yeah, I'm going to have to go around. No way I'm going to go through that wall. And I just want to see how far we get. Oh, there's the rope gone. So that's one rope. Yeah, we're not going to get very far. We won't even get under this wall with that rope. But I'm thinking, when I'm out, what happens then? Oh, hang on then. Uh, right, so we're out. Now, here's the thing. This is not staff only. There's nothing that the guards can do about us being here. Unless the schedule changes to something like sleep time, where we have to be somewhere for a particular uh, you know, for a particular time or purpose. So these things here, these cells, they're probably super max. This is white. This is, uh, they're not padded cells though. So there might be, uh, I don't know, there might be, might be criminally insane. Well, the colors could be changed. We've got security. We've got cells here. Lots of big cells, in fact. With lots of individual things. This could be... This could be... No, it's not padded either. It just says cells. Mm, could be protective custody and the colours have changed. And then at the front, we've got execution. And this is the head of the train. Ah, oh, and we can walk out the front. <laughs> right. So if we wanted to, I could just get to this line and we escape. We could do that very easily. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going back to try and break out as many of our fellow commuters as we can. The problem is that when we kick off, they're gonna find the tunnel. That's fine, we know it takes two ropes to escape. So we can gather everyone up and then we go. So in there, we go along and I'm just gonna stash that there and then out. So we're here, now here's the thing. We've got lots of reputations, this is good. But it costs a certain amount of points to escape. Uh, to, to gather up people, shall I say, for the escape. So, for example, Honeybrook here, it costs one point to recruit them. So hold right click to recruit. And there we go. And I'm going to say, get on with whatever they need to get on with. I'm probably not going to get give them the traits, because my plan is to simply get... I don't know, an arbitrary number, 10? I don't know if you can get 10, but get a certain amount and then go from there. Um, I've only got a set of keys here as well, so <laughs> if we were to decide to leave and use these keys, then, I mean, we could probably do that. Like, there's nothing we're doing at the moment that's that's wrong. I'm not going to go through the metal detectors. Eventually, we will have to trigger one, though. I'm looking for an external door. Ah, there's a metal detector here. And there's still no... Yeah, there's a metal detector. Uh... Well, I mean... I don't know if keys... Can you do damage with keys? Yeah, damage is 0 0.75. It's the same as fists, actually. Same as fists. Okay, well, let's... Um... 
Did I just swing at that guy and it didn't do anything? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Right, so we're just going to start breaking things to gather some points. Guys try to taser me. So, oh, there's a taser that's actually worked. Okay, fine. So that is the tunnel there that we will, that will be exposed eventually. Um, so I'm just going to initiate a taser. <laughs> and all I want to do is try and get, get some points here. So I'm going to get that. They're gone. This guy doesn't seem to be bothered about what's happening here. They're now gone. They're now gone. I'm just going to pull back a bit. So line of sight is not an issue. Not, not as much of an issue. Take the shotgun. Take the shotgun. Take the shotgun. There we go, finally. I mean, this, this escape has got absolutely zero chill on it, hasn't it? Oh, we ran out. And looks like we tears it again. But because of all that, we got a lot of points. And we're gonna we're gonna keep farming. So Oh, we've taken the weapon off them. There we go. So fight this guy. Yep, back into the dormitory. Oh, we're out. Um, let's see if we can take this guy out with standard procedure. Oh, we're unconscious. But again, we managed to get loads of points. And that taser didn't work. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time then. We... I think we'll stick the boot in. Bit of coup de gras. There we go. We're only getting two points for that. I don't know what the staffing level is going to be like for this thing, but um, I'm guessing it's going to be quite a high cost. And this tunnel, by the way, I know is still here. Which is interesting. So I'm going to recruit Sandy, and we're going to get Trish, and Norman Stanley Fletcher. No, it's Ed Fletcher, actually. And <laughs> take that person out. The fact that the tunnel is still here is pretty marvellous, actually. I'm happy with that. Um, Finley. I don't want to... I want to recruit Finley. 16 points for Finley, but I don't want to... Actually, we'll get Mackenzie here. So we'll Mackenzie. And we'll take that... <laughs> take that off them. And immediately, as soon as we... <laughs> as soon as we start fighting, um, some of the other guys are also doing it. But as I said, um... Good grief, that's a lot of, uh... A lot of guards. And what tunnel is still in existence. So, that's good. I did a miss with that shotgun. And that shotgun. Not with that one, though. And again, just farming points as best I can. Um, morning. There we go. Missed with that one. Seems to miss when you're in here. I think that's our last shot, isn't it? There we go. And there's more taser. Oh, hang on. We've been upped for our category. Ah. I mean, we are working <laughs> more to the front of the train now, aren't we? <laughs> is, what's, what's, is what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six people. Okay. Well... You know what? You know what? I'm going to say people follow. I don't know if they get access to this or not. I want them to come down through here. But I've called people in. So we can go through here. This is fine. And then I'm going to run. So we are... What? Why was I stuck? The, the door like sort of shut on me? What was going on there? That was so weird. The door closed. I couldn't move. So I'm going to say follow. I don't know where these guys are, by the way. We can swap between them all. But they probably can't get access to this. Let's, um... I'm just going to end fight. I just want to come through this door. I want to get through that tunnel, because I think it might still be there. And we'll 
we'll get while the going is good, really. Because otherwise we're starting again in this cell block, and I don't want to do that. And then this door's opened. While that's triggered, we can get through. That's fine. And now... Oh, look at all these guys. They're trying to come through to me. But that's what we need. We don't We don't need that. Oh, and I've been tasered. No, skip. We need, we need to break out with our main person. I'm noticing this. this is quite a secure area. So going up to this category is actually a lot worse than the previous one. So, yeah, I think I probably would, knowing what we know now, probably cause less devastation and utter carnage. <laughs> and instead, we will most likely stay in that, what I think is, oh, look at this. They've all followed us. Interesting. Okay. Well, they've followed me into here. Not that it matters, because they're not getting stopped, but there's no way for me to escape here. I'm just going to break this off its hinges. Because the, the guys are going to help out anyway. And there we go. And I'll end the fight. Because there's no one around to stop us. And also they use loads of tasers on a door. I mean, how effective do you think that was going to be, mate? Um, some guards at the back here. Right, the door's open. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. So this is our make or break attempt. I don't know if the tunnel is still there. The tunnel is still there. We have a tunnel. Right. So, in here. In. Go. Switch over to Hornybrook. Rush. Rush, rush, rush. If I get more than one person out, I'll class that as a success. So we're going in here. We're going to go in. Next character. They've got the shirt off. That's how you escape. We got unconscious, but injured. This is Fletcher. We're in. And Mac. Mac. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mac. Let's go, Mac. And Mac's in. Right. So Wyatt. Let's come. Let's go this way. Let's go. And we're out. What about the other fellas? Hang on. Where, where are they going? <laughs> they're going. They're going the other way. Back in the tunnel. Back in the tunnel. Oh, no, the, the tunnel, <laughs> the tunnel just, just there's another hole. Um, this is really difficult to navigate with all of these characters, because as you switch between the characters, the others move. So I say, don't move. Um, yeah, so Mackenzie. Let's rush with Mackenzie. I think they've, I think they managed to, um, I think they might have managed to fill the hole in. Hole's still there. The hole is still there. And we can end the fight. I'm pressing space to end the fight, but they're not. They're really not ending the fight. Well, you know what? I'm going to get characters out. I think we just have to accept that it's a bit of a mess at this point. And let's go. The spanner in the works was moving up to the higher category. As soon as we moved up to the higher category, it was not ideal. Which is fine. There's still Honeybrook and Mackenzie somewhere. We're definitely getting Wyatt out, so we can mark this success as an escape as escape attempts go. What's the obvious fix for this? Just put a wall in on the left. Wall in on the left means none of this can happen. <laughs> like this bit here is only possible because there's a wall here. Now I get why they wouldn't do that. Because if the wall was there, then basically you are... Um, let's just end the fight on this character and keep running. Um, and... Yeah, it would just be... If you have the wall there, it means it's, it's going to look a bit dodgy. I can understand them, like all the buffers and everything else on the right-hand side of the map. That makes sense because it's like a rail yard type train yard thing. Or even a station. And I'm guessing these are supposed to represent the tracks for the other things and with all the sleepers and ties and other bits like that and the ballast. I can say all the railway words if you like, but anyway, we'll continue on. But uh, yeah, the the rest of it is... I can understand why they're not doing that. Um, skip punishments and... Ah, really? The tunnel, sadly, has been filled in. Well... We managed to get 
a total of two people out. Oh, we're being escorted off because it's sleep time. Okay. So the question is, can the other guys leave? I mean, we could. We know it's very possible. It's just the the whole following, not following thing. Even though I was toggling it, it was still being uncooperative at times. I think this has the dinner trays aren't getting cleaned bug <laughs> in it. <laughs> Looking at all of that. So, oh, there's another, is that another laundry? Don't say we've got two laundry next to one another. So there's one. And uh, it is a laundry, but it's not designated as such. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go in the gym. We're just going to have one last attempt. I, I've, I think we're going to mark it as basically we've completed the escape. Not with all of the people that maybe we want. But at least it is some level of success. So I'm going to tell the guys to follow me. Wyatt and Hornybrook have escaped already. We've got Sandy, Trish, Fletcher and Mackenzie to follow up on that. And we're going to start in here. So, so it's, um, oh, why can't I dig? I can stash contraband. Oh, it's because we're not, oh, we haven't started there, of course. This is our cell now. Hmm, what about, what about these guys? Oh, they're over there. Oh, so in that case, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stash that. <laughs> and I'll stash that. Go over to this guy. And initiate the follow. We're going to pick up that rope. Please don't show it off like that. I'm going to pick up that rope. <laughs> and... I'm going to whiff that guy to disappear. Tunnel. Enter. I'm going to go to the left. I'm just going to go max speed here. you think they follow me into the tunnel, but alas, they do not. So I'll just tell them to do whatever they need to do. And we'll get digging. So that was the plan there. We could definitely switch to uh, different characters and swap the stuff around. It'd be very easy for me to forget that as well. So let's just get to here and up and out. And I'm going to switch over to Sandy. But it's going to move the other character, isn't it? No, they're still there. That's fine. Just going to keep checking. Yes. I don't want to tell them to follow, because otherwise we'll have a lot of problems. It would be nice if we can get everybody out. So this is not their cell, but it shouldn't matter. Just going to go to this guy. Yep, yeah, fine. So, it's in. <laughs> and there. And we're going to go... Oh! No, that guy's... Um, for some reason, end the fight. They've been cuffed for some reason, and I don't know why. Okay. I think just when it kicks... Uh, I don't, I'm not actually too sure what happened then. I think maybe because some of these are following. No, because I said that, right? I said that after we got, that guy got cuffed. Hmm. Not sure. I was going to say, if we told them to run, then it that could have been where the problem lay. Um, this guy... We can't get. We can't actually get them out. Look, there, everyone's behind. Everyone's cuffed. Oh, Mackenzie isn't. Um, we can't get them out because you can't escape from the edge of the map as far as I'm aware with with cuffs on. Just doesn't happen. Okay. Well, half of our group has escaped. That is not a bad metric. And we've escaped via digging, which is different from escaping by running out the front door. It's very easy to get... Um... Oh, the tunnel's been detected. There we go. It's very easy to do a, a blitz-out attempt with everybody with full reputations and just charge through the, the sort of assault of tasers and such, and you're bound to get a decent percentage out. Whereas this one, we've moved from 
medium to high to super max for at least one of the characters. We've recruited people from a different uh, a different carriage, a different class, essentially. And, uh, yeah. Found out that it is possible to escape. But, sadly, some people will be left behind. Uh, can I even do anything with this character? I can't remove them from the squad. <laughs> and nobody's coming to get us. And I can't, <laughs> I can't put the rope down. We are still handcuffed. <laughs> no guard seems to be coming to get us. I don't know what. I can't, I can't remove them. I can't, I cannot remove this. Uh, I can't remove this. Uh, <laughs> this prisoner from the, from the list. Unless I do, I no, I can't switch characters. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what to do. That might be a case of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a guard, but we've already been here how long? We've had two people walk, uh, t tunnel out and escape by the time, well, in the time that it's taken for no guards to turn up. <laughs> I think we will be leaving it there. I can't get an overall score. Not yet, at least. And certainly, if we look at the a score, it's probably going to be quite a big list of offences. I, like I said, I'm going to get to the end of here, and it's not going to do anything. We're just going to stand on the edge and the game's going to be all, nope, not happening. You know, you can't get out. That's that's my experience in the past anyway. And, yep, <laughs> we can't go any further. Um, yeah, so that's that's been a bit of Prison Architect Escapes, I guess. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect Escapes. Truth be told, I was trying to head back to the start of the train and at a time where basically they're going to grab us and bring us back. That hasn't happened for whatever reason. So I can't get an end screen, but it still has been interesting. The majority of our group has escaped and, well, it's been good looking at the map. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions for how to escape this map, let me know in the comments. And also, if you have any ideas or you have designs you would like to see me escape from, whether it be something you've made or you've seen on the Steam Workshop, etc., then let me know or two. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.